<laughs> Hello! It's cosy reading night. My bra's off, my hair's washed. God, my grace. Do you know, Emma, two people told me today about my grey hair. Which people? <laughs> Cara, who I work with, and Nalin, who I work with. Nalin said, Cara said, oh, I didn't know you had greys in quite a pleasant way. Mm. And Nalin said, um, how often do you dye your hair, Lauren? Oh, <laughs> anyway, blah, 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 grey hair. It is cosy reading night. It is 15 minutes before cosy reading night. I've got my hair washed, I've got my bra off, I've got my Spice Girls t-shirt on. My Spice Girls LP was on, but I've just turned it off for the time being. Just pop the oven on. I'm feeling relaxed. I've got my blanket at the ready, my books at the ready. My books stand as they did before with my TBR. However, I've just been to Sainsbury's and in there I picked up Things a Bright Girl Can Do by Sally Nichols, which is a YA book about the suffragettes. So I feel very excited about that. And also, ow, Rebel Voices, um, by Eve Lloyd Knight and Louise K. Stewart, which is the rise of votes for women, which is like a sort of not even not a graphic novel really, um, just lots of information with wonderful illustrations, very dark illustrations. Um, so I'm gonna maybe have a little flick through that. So nothing's changed aside from I've got six books now. Um, just gonna go and put the food on. Emma's here. She's on her phone at the moment. She's got a matching T-shirt. I'll show. I'll show you in a minute I'll, to get. I'll, I'll build the hype, Emma. Build it up. It's just Emma and I tonight, and very very excited and looking forward to some snacks and some reading. Yeah. Hello. I'm just doing the food. So tonight we are having um, some hummus, which this is my favorite hummus ever. This is Sabra hummus, oh, it's lovely, and um, baba ganoush. And I'm just gonna do some crudite of carrots, pepper, and cucumber. Emma, look at Emma, wave! <laughs> You're so far in the distance. Um, also got some white pita breads so that that will go with. And then I've got some vegan sausage rolls and vegan, like, popcorn chicken bites let me get those now which is like one's from asda so this is like vegan popcorn chicken um which i've not had before but i'm very excited about that and we've got some vegan a's and things and then um veg uh, vegan sausage rolls from tesco's again which i haven't had before so i'm going to stick some of those in I think that'll be just about enough. What do you think? That's it. That's quite a lot of food for two people, yeah, especially one who's just had dinner. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and I've got some crisps, but I think that'll be enough to be getting on with. It's here! It's here! <laughs> We're both in our matching t-shirts. I've got spring. a Spice Girls one on, and Emma's got a Britney one on. It is nice, isn't it? I loved it? Britney, and All Saints, and the Spice Girls. And Britney was your number child. one, though. Yeah, I loved her. You did I love her. her. You I did probably fancy her. Yeah, I think you did fancy yeah, her. But I don't think that's a secret. I think you were up for like... Oh, I really think I'm probably for the secret. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't keep the secret very well. Um, we are all blanketed up. Are you blanketed yeah, blank? Cushion. Um, and we're about to get reading. Emma, what are you going to start with? Have you got them nearby? I've got three to, to choose. I was really frantically looking around there, like. <laughs> I've got this. Following my personal femory theme has been sporting icons. Yeah. Female sporting icons. So I've got Nicola Adams' autobiography, Believe. Very good. Uh, little, little slip of a thing, isn't it? It's not very long. So I'm not trying to read the whole thing. The first ever female Olympic gold medal winner for boxing, the first female boxer ever to hold Commonwealth, European, World, and Olympic titles, and the first openly LGBT person to win an Olympic boxing gold. So probably not going to be um, literary great, but I think a very good person. I think yeah, I think it'll be great. I think it will be. Might not be literarily great, That's but I think I mean. it will be literally great. Uh, <laughs> and then a little summing summing from a special occasion that happened at the weekend. You might have seen. Uh, Lauren very kindly got me this book, uh, Women in Sport, uh, 50 Fearless Athletes Who Played to Win, which is in the same theme as like women in history yeah, and yeah, yeah. women in space. Science. Science. But I think so. science. <laughs> but I've got um, this, which is very similar, A Galaxy of Her Own. Uh, yeah. It's not by the same people, but there's a lot of these books sort of out at the moment. And actually, just before I came here, I went to Sainsbury's to get myself some hummus and baba ganoush. And when I was in there, Sainsbury's had a lovely display of books, which I'll in fact insert the picture here, because I took a photo of it. And it had lots of books like this, uh, Women in Sport. It had Galaxy of Her Own on there, and this new one that I've got, the Rebel Voices one. Um, so there's loads of books like this out there, which I just think are I really nice. This. They're really nice to like dip in and out of. I've been very I'm tempted to read it and I've, I haven't, I've withheld for today and I've got as a third book which I probably won't get onto but yeah. it's by someone who's in this book. Oh, Claire Baldwin! Yes, Claire Baldwin! Claire Baldwin. The racehorse who disappeared. <laughs> oh! Actually, it's called The Racehorse Who Couldn't Gallop. I think maybe that's her next release. Oh! Oh! That is so cute. cute! We love Claire. Where do you hide a stolen horse? My uh -oh. dear. Life is getting back to normal for Charlie Bass after her reluctant racehorse Noble Warrior won the derby. 
Then, in the dead of night, noble warrior vanishes. People the don't. police are baffled. The clues are few, and if Charlie can't track down her beloved horse herself, she may never see him again. Oh, do you know what this illustration is so much like Quentin Blake. Yeah, yeah. like Tony Ross is Daniel. And Nick Sharrett is that the other one who does? Oh no, Nick Sharrett is the Jack and Wilson Axel one. Sheffler. They're, like, there's very similar, and the one who does um, the David Williams books as yeah. well. Very, I really style. like it, it's really uh, mm. nostalgic for me. So yeah, so anyway, they're the books that we're reading. How are you going to split it? I'm going to start with Nicola, and yeah. I am going to try and finish that within the evening, and then I will delve into this one. That guy. And then I'll probably, probably won't get onto this, but just That's exciting. I think I'm going to start, oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to start with Paper Girls, because I'd like to finish something, and I feel like this I will finish. Um, so yeah, this is like, um, this is really... Um, compared to uh, Stranger Things, but sort of like four girls set in the 80s. Uh, in the early hours after Halloween of 1988, four 12-year-old girl, girl, year old newspaper delivery girls uncover the most important story of all time. Um, it is written by a man, but it That's does have all, all girl cast it. So I think I'll probably start with that and let's go. I'm gonna eat some dip now, are you? Let's just go for it, let's please. Dip, dip. The fire is on. So here's a big plate of beige. This is popcorn chicken, uh, vegan popcorn chicken, and then little tiny sausage rolls. And Emma, have you ever tried vegan aids? I don't I suppose you ever would have. I feel like it's have at your house for it's breakfast. better than actual mayonnaise. And um, we've just been eating some snacks and things like that. I am a little bit into Paper Girls, very much enjoying it. How are you getting on with your book? I'm just on chapter two. Oh my god, you're flying through! So yeah, we're doing very well, very well so far. This is lovely. So David, I bought this for David for Christmas and this is the point David got to when he stopped. And I have no idea how he got to that point and stopped because I'm really gripped. I want to know what's happening. So yeah, very excited to read on. It's a bit reminded me of Buffy. It's nice. What are you doing, Minnie? You doing some reading? You're cute, aren't you? Mm, I'm not happy though. Nice. How much bigger I am than you, just because I'm sat forward like a little oh, tiny bit. <laughs> You're like a little tiny ourselves. pinhead in the background. Yeah. <laughs> um, we are almost halfway through. Um, I have now finished Paper Girls um, by Brian K. Vaughan. <clears throat> really, really love this. Um, I, yeah, as I said, David got to a point in it and I can't believe he stopped because there was no point in this where I wanted to stop. Um, I really, really like the illustrations and it's not sort of like, although it's, uh, it's done in like a superhero type way. Mm. The, the colour palette's not really like punchy in any face. It's quite... It's not primary colours. No, no, no. And I really like these sort of like chapter endings which have a big picture of the um, of one of the characters um, and then goes on to the next chapter. I really, really loved it. It reminded me of like a super cool episode of Buffy and I'm looking forward to getting the next one. I might even have a look and see if I can order it now. <laughs> so that's the first one done. Emma, how is your book going? You, you seem to be quite enjoying it. You're storming through it. I'm really enjoying 57 it. 57 pages. I was hoping to read the whole thing in enough time to read my second book. I'm not sure I will. Yeah. But I'm really enjoying it. She's definitely had a bloody hard old upbringing. She's made of tough stuff. She was basically a young carer when she was 14, looking after her mum who had meningitis and a younger brother. And it's just mad things about like women being forbidden to box even in like the 90s because they were worried about them having PMT and being too unstable in the ring. And even when they did get um, the right yet, to box, they were Men right off their heads on testosterone oh, are allowed right. in there. Yeah, when they did win the right to box, it was like, oh, maybe you should wear skirts when you box. It will improve your performance. Yeah, so yeah. it's just amazing. She had this belief all along that she would be Olympic champion. Even though when she started training, women's boxing wasn't even in the Olympic program, but she was like, no, this is gonna happen. She's still competing. Uh, I think so. I haven't Beijing. watched it yet, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know if she'll still be in the Olympics. I am, yeah. She might be. I How old know. is she? Our age? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah. Very I'll much find enjoying. out before the end of the night. We're both having a lovely time. Mini snoozing over there. We're just eating. I've been smashing back these uh, fake chicken balls. So yeah. There's no tomorrow. Very, very nice. Born in 1982. Oh, so she's four years older than us. So she'll be probably 35. Won't, probably won't be in the Olympics mm. next. Oh, I'd always age them. Space for us. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> get away, get away, darling. And then we never do. I don't know the words. Too little for long. I do I know. Rolling Stone. I don't know. Enjoyable. We're almost there. Well, not almost there. We've still got 40, well, 44 minutes. Go. I am reading uh, Good Night Stories for Rebel Girls 2. And it's tea time.
we've both got a cup of Sainsbury's Bedtime Infusion, which is a naturally nice. caffeine-free blend. Are you going to drink that now? Yeah. That's too hot, Emma. I'll be able to do it. A naturally caffeine-free blend of chamomile, lemon balm and valerian root with lavender, rose and jasmine petals. I can't believe you're drinking that at that heat. It is hot, but I drink yeah. it. Once <laughs> <laughs> I'm pumped up by this um, Yeah, very, very good this is. This Tasted is one pound, one pound fifty for 20 bags. Individually wrapped, yeah. which isn't like the best for the environment, but nice to have individually wrapped. So if you ever go away, beautiful box. Just, as well. Yeah, it's a very beautiful box. Look, lovely little box of nice. I can fall asleep just looking at that box. I know it is nice, and one pound fifty. But yeah, very, very much enjoy those. Very, very, very much. They've repackaged all their new stuff. It all looks nice now, I'm but this is particularly nice. Yeah, I'm good, very fond of saying stuff. stuff. Um, yeah, so we're just having a cup of tea, and Emma, what page are you on now? One hundred five. Now Emma's very keen to finish this book. But don't rush it. I know, but I like to I like to finish things neatly, you know, like today I set out to read that book and I'd like to finish it. Okay, you can finish it when you get home though. Yeah, it's not the same. I'm at the twenty twelve Olympics, just won it. Oh, oh spoiler. <laughs> spoiler. Um, I am just about to read about Celia Cruz, who is a singer uh, from Cuba. Can I tell you yeah. something? Well, burnt my tongue. Oh, oh. silly girl. <laughs> silly old bear. Oh, I didn't even know this! Your favourite? Chimamanda. I didn't know she was in this! Of course she's in there. Oh, God. You getting emotional? Yeah. I feel so emotional. Ah! Emma's still going. I'm not going to make it, but I'm trying. Don't, don't stress yourself out! It's the end of Cozy Reading Night. I always feel like at the end of Cozy Reading Night, I've got my really cozy face on, like, relaxed. Oh, relaxed. It is nice, isn't it, mm. just to chill out for, for three hours and just have a nice time. Guess who's back in town? <laughs> this little naughty nugget. Hello, I'm still reading my sports almanac. Mm -hmm. Um, we've had a lovely evening, haven't we, Emma? It's been very, very, very nice. Evening. Very relaxing. Read lots of book. finished a book, and I'm about... Third of the what way letter through this. Of the you on? I'm up to the next person I will be discovering is Florence Chadwick, swimmer from the United States of America. Lovely. So very exciting. And um, Emma's on page 141. So 50 pages to go. Training for the Rio Games at the minute. Oh, lovely. Mm. So yeah, thanks so much for joining us. Um, I've had a lovely time. Thank you for joining. Thank you for inviting Thank me. Thank you. Oh, lovely hand. Uh, um, and yeah, we'll uh, I'll see you all again soon for another butchery video. Bye. Bye.